Hello, my name is Yonis Dizuk, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to basically use the logo we created in the previous video tutorial and basically uh, made this logo animate. To get started, we need to create a new folder. And I'm going to double click to rename the folder as underscore A underscore frame one. And then I'm going to put comma, and then I'm going to put the duration. So I'm going to say the duration is going to be, let's say, 10. Then I'm going to click and drag my text there, and I'm going to click and drag my uh, logo shape here. So when I actually click on this little arrow, we'll be able to see the only thing I'm going to see is just the folder. Okay. So now I've done this, I'm going to use the, with the folder selected, I'm going to go to uh, edit, and then I'm going to select uh, free transform. By holding the shift key down, I'm just going to click and drag to reduce the size of my logo. Okay. So as you can see, when I click in a drag in, it's basically lifting it up as well. Okay. So if I hold the old key at the same time, is basically reduces the size of the logo in proportion. So this will do. Okay. So once you're happy, press the enter key to register your selection. Okay. Next, I'm going to I'm going to right click here. I'm going to select duplicate layer. And with the new layer selected now. Okay, I'm going to double click it and I'm just going to change that to frame two. And also, I'm just going to remove the word copy. Now, on the frame two now, I'm just going to expand the folder and I'm going to double click here to edit the layer styles. So now what we are going to do is select the outer glow. I'm just going to change that to slightly different color. Then I'm going to go to my shadow and basically change a little bit the shadow, the spread, and the distance. Let's change the opacity a little bit as well. I'm going to click OK. Now I've done this. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to select the layer style, select copy. I'm going to go to my logo shape, right click, layer style, and select paste. And now I'm going to basically, what I've done is apply the exactly the same style here. Now I've got the two uh, frames with different uh, styles applied. I'm going to go to File and then select Save as, uh, let's select the Export first, Export as GIF. So when I select Export as GIF, you will be able to actually see how it's gonna the animation would look like. So let's slow down a little bit the animation. So I'm just gonna change that to 100. Let's go to File, Export, and then I will select GIF. Let's see now. Okay, it's flickering. That's good. This is exactly what I want to achieve. And if I go now to the folder, okay, so I can see that my animation, my logo is flashing now. Okay, that's a simple animation that you can actually create. You can also have things moving around and stuff. Okay, but for this video tutorial, I just try to try to make things a bit simple. The next thing we need to do is go to File and then select Save as as PSD for future editing as well. Okay, so I'm just going to put here. Animate it. PSD. Okay. And next, I'm going to go to Image. And like we did before, I can select Trim. Click OK. And then I'm going to go to File. And then select Export as GIF. Okay. And then select Save. And I've got log animated GIF. So I'm just going to go to my downloads folder and then replace the word PSD to GIF. 
then I'm going to cut that from here and go to my documents to D1 and I'm just going to paste this uh, logo here. So if I actually open it, right click select open with, I can open it, uh, let's open in photos. Okay, so I can actually see the animation. So I've got the animated logo and I also have the normal logo as well with the, without the animation. Hope you'll have learned something new today. I hope you will apply these new skills into your project. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.